What's going on guys, Matt back here again with another part review. It's been about five days since I posted any videos because I haven't really bought anything recently and finally did pick up something when I went to a little trip to Myrtle Beach, which is about an hour and a half from where I live. They have a place called Broadway at the beach with a bunch of stores, a bunch of attractions like uh, boat rides, helicopter rides, um, Ferris wheels and stuff like that, but they also have a lot of stores. Some of those stores sell pops, more of them sold pops than I thought, because there was like a comic book store that sold pops, a lot of commons, no exclusives really. They might have previews exclusives. Then there was a toy store that sold very few pops, nothing really special there, but the one store I walked in not expecting to see pops was called the Man Cave Store. They sold a lot of uh, common pops once again, but a lot of pops I haven't seen in the wild. They actually had Chardonnay there, they had a lot of the uh, sports pops, uh, Rob Gronkowski, Marshall Lynch, Victor Cruz. They didn't have any Panthers pops, so that's why I didn't get any of them. But I did find one pop, and you see from the thumbnail and the title, it was Tony Montana from Scarface. Freaking awesome pop, freaking awesome character. I'm glad they did a character. It was about two years ago they did this character. And I think I might have looked it up once. I'm not sure. It might have been put on my want list on Pop Price Guy, but I can't remember. But I actually found him and looked him up. He's actually worth twice as much as what I paid for him. So pretty awesome. There were like four of them there. I was really surprised. But I did get the best one after looking through all of them, the best one with the best paint job, even there's a little bit of paint mishap on the uh, hand, but all of them are like that, so I'm guessing it's probably something that's series-wide that they all got messed up that way. First, let's look at the box. box looks pretty standard as far as the way the boxes go, I guess, but it does have the pop art on the front with his scar. You definitely see the scar on the front of his face right there with his little hairdo like he had in the movie. Uh, the side of it. There's no typos. Thank God. I'm starting to notice a lot more typos out there for especially with the newest one I think being Goku on the flying new uh, Back of it basically has the uh, box art for the DVDs or Blu-rays where it's uh, like the silhouette kind of deal But there's Tony Montana was the only one they made from the series. They did make a Tony Montana in this car I've never seen that in a while either But there's no like I said, there's no other characters from this movie. No other characters were iconic from that movie I guess you would say in the other side basically just has his um, box, full box art there, full, full pop art I guess you would say. As far as box damage, nothing really spectacular or bad, just a little bit of, uh, not, not really creasing but like furring of the edges, but they've probably been sitting there a while and this box is pretty two years old so. Now looking to the figure, the figure looks pretty freaking awesome also, yeah, like I said he has a scar on the front of his face right there on his eye that he's known for, scar face. Uh, the gun is actually a model, basically modeled after the gun he had in the end scene of the movie with the M16 underbarrel grenade launcher on it. This is the one where he said, say hello to my little friend. Uh, this is where the actual paint is kind of messed up on his right hand. A little bit of black from the gun is bled onto his uh, fingers. So his hands look like they're bruised up almost. The other hand's not so bad. The only weird thing about this pop though is that he's wearing a blue suit on the pop where it, I mean, they're going from the scene of the movie that this is supposed to be from, from the end. He was wearing a black suit, I think, in the end. But it did add pinstripes. That's pretty cool. Because I think the suit from the movie actually had pinstripes. And they did it with texturing. So it looks like he has pinstripes on this suit. But yeah, he should have been wearing a black suit. He did wear a blue suit earlier in the movie when he got shot in the club, I think. So maybe that's why they used this suit. But it looks pretty freaking awesome. I like this pop. It's one of my new favorites. Probably might be my favorite because... I mean, it's Tony Montana, it's Scarface, one of the best movies of all time. So, and I did see, I noticed a little bit of a uh, paint back here on the back of his head that's uh, a little bled onto his head, but it's okay. Like I said, this was the best one they had, so I'm happy I found him. I paid like paid $12 for him, and he's worth about $25, $26, so it's pretty freaking awesome. I'm not sure if he's super rare or any, I don't know about that, but if he was vaulted, I'm not sure that either, but pretty freaking awesome i found this guy i really like this one anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're a new viewer and guys at the end of this video there's always a like a last picture showing my last video all those snapchat facebook twitter uh what's another one on there instagram make sure you follow all those things anyway guys make sure you stay tuned for more pot reviews and pop hunts coming up i'm deacon do dirty and i'll catch you later